The LEGO City 4x4 Off-Road Ambulance Rescue is a thing of the past. This is the new promo. This is the LEGO Icons moving truck. With 301 pieces and two minifigures, it's a promo with purchases of 180 US dollars or more. And it runs from February 21st through March 3rd. Now you've seen pictures of the box online, but let's get this thing opened up so we can view the real thing. And if you're lucky enough and go to the Lego store soon, you may also get this promo as it was still available at my store. So with one purchase, I got both of these promos. Once you unbox the set, you will find four bags, a construction manual, a sticker sheet, and a 2x16 plate. Now the colors represented in the manual don't normally match perfectly with the elements that we have, but in this case, it looks like we are using a metallic pink stud. However, it's just a pearl gold stud. Once you're completed with the build, you're left over with a handful of spare pieces. And here is the completed build. Everything that's part of this set is included right here. So before I go into detail on each individual build, just wanted to give you a general feel of what you get with this promo. The style of the truck furnishings and musical equipment really mesh well with the jazz club, all being early 20th century styles. Perhaps this was the humble beginning of this moving company, as this logo appears in today's modern city line. Here's a close look at the included minifigures. Both of them have alternate faces. The piano is mostly made up of dark orange and reddish brown elements and the keys are represented by 1x2 printed tiles. This classic jukebox is made up of some modern pieces in today's LEGO inventory, which also includes some 1x2 silver metallic grill pieces and a 1x2 printed tile where you can you know, push those buttons and play some different tracks. This end table has a little lamp on the top, a drawer hanging out, that must have come open during the move. There's even a coin in the drawer. And the legs are made up of ice cream cone pieces. This is some artwork that represents a painting of a saxophone. To wrap up the mini builds, you get a dolly and a box. The box comes open and there's a donut inside. At this time, let's take a closer look at the classic truck. It's primarily six studs wide, except for the middle where the driver sits is only four studs wide. The radiator grill is made up of two by two rounded dish elements. There's one by four by two thirds rounded tiles used for the driver to get up into the vehicle. The doors do open. Here's what it looks like with the doors open in the front. Going around to the back, you've got this very plain license plate, which features the set number. Also, the doors to get into the cargo area are some 3x6 white doors, which only appear in white in one other set to date, which is the Farmer's Market Van. Our minifigures can access the back of the truck by swinging these doors open and lowering the loading ramp. So the loading ramp is stowed away nicely in this slot that has just enough space for it. However, when you're actually using it for loading, it doesn't really stay in place all that well. So you just kind of have to balance it there on top of the license plate, or perhaps balance it up here on this higher deck. Now it's time to load up the truck and we can do so with easier access to the inside by removing the roof. So first we put the table in. The box slides in under the open drawer. The piano slides in beside it. Then the jukebox. The dolly goes on top of the table. And finally, the artwork. The musicians are patiently waiting for the arrival of their equipment. Well, looky there, it's arrived. Loads have shifted 
and we had a bit of an accident here. Don't worry, help has arrived. Though this guy doesn't seem like he's doing much of anything. There always has to be one guy that slacks off while the others do the work. After closing the drawer on the table, it fit into the manager's office. You can also see who got the donut delivery. The dressing room has some new artwork and also has a piano. The chef was the one that took the jukebox. However, customers can now not enter through the front door. Oh, a little help here. What he really needs is a smaller door. Hey, that's better. No, not really. It turns out the owner is not bringing in enough revenue with the current venues. So she brings in more venues such as Jerry Seinfeld, Billy Joel, and the Green Brick. And then the jazz club is just not getting enough stage time, so they pack up and leave. The pizza shop owner is then outraged by monthly rent price hikes due to bigger and better performances. More on this story and more in a future video. So is this promo worth spending 180 US dollars for? I think so. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and rundown. This truck is fully built up with bricks and plates. So it feels like you're getting your money's worth. All these mini builds are great. And I like how they nod to other modular buildings in this uh, Crater Expert or Icons line, such as this artwork. It could have came from the Batik Hotel. There was this little art store, um, this jukebox. You know, it's reminiscent of the downtown diner. The piano could have come from the music shop in the assembly square. Here's a piano in the upstairs, uh, right above the music shop. The donut inside the box. Well, that was probably from the donut shop that's right by the police station. Though the minifigures are nothing new and they're pretty generic, they're pretty fun to play with, especially with the alternate expressions. The moving truck fits everything inside of it, except for two minifigures. So if you wanted to make that possible, you could widen, you know, the cab inside where minifigures can sit side by side, but it might also take away that classic truck feeling. Perhaps you can do a little modification with your own pieces and have the other crew member hanging on to the truck. Or perhaps this guy is not even part of the moving crew. That would explain why he did so little work. I love the inclusion of the loading ramp and how it can slide back in snugly into that little slot. However, there needs to be some better functionality to it. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours and stay tuned for more content.